And welcome back to Good Day. Big out here in Modesto. We're at Modesto Junior College. And let me tell you something. This is where the Latin X Comic Arts Festival happened. I think I found my gift that I'm going to buy. This is I'm going to treat myself. Low Riders in Space. I mean, all kinds of things involved in the Latinx culture is here in comic book form. And I'm here with Dr. Rojas, the organizer of this whole thing. You, this is kind of like your baby. You thought of this and, and originated this. So you, but you teach this in your class, right? Yeah, 100%. So I'm the director of the Latinx Comic Arts Festival. Mm -hmm. And I teach English and ethnic studies. And all of my classes have comics. Mm -hmm. I, I teach comics in every single one of my classes. And that's uh, one of the comics you reference this in your in class. This is Monster Matador. And this this is, I, I know I love the name. I love it. Stephen Prince, and I wrote the study guide for this one, which is why I'm holding it in my hands. What? It just came out. It's hot, cold, off the presses. <laughs> <laughs> See? Perfect. So yeah. talk about, this is like one of many things here that's talked about comics and artwork uh, in the Latinx community, right? Yeah, so we have about 50 tables full of exhibitors exhibiting their um, their art, their comics, their writing, um, all kinds of good stuff here with a focus on comics. And these are um, a lot of independent creators here, and so we're highlighting them this weekend and inviting uh, the public to come in. And everything is free. This is one of the things that I wanted to do is to make sure that it's always free for students, free for the public, so there is no charge to come and join us. And the number of exhibitors here, they come from all over the place, so east, west coast, even from uh, down south, from Mexico City. Yeah, so we have a lot of uh, local people in terms of the Bay Area, but we also have tons of people from LA. We have someone from New York City here, and and then my friend Rodrigo is here from Mexico City. I met him at another conference, and now here we are. So oh, he came see. all the way. So you about to turn this into the Comic Con yeah. for the Latinx Comic Con, yes. basically? That's that's the that's goal. That's the dream. Yeah, that's the goal right there. One hundred percent. And so, I mean, how does it feel to actually have something like this and really? represent for the culture in, 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 in comic book form. You know, it's, it's amazing because we were ready to go right before COVID. 2020, we had a show ready to go uh, March 20th. We got shut down March 16th. Mm. So I thought, well, that's it. This idea it was a great idea, but someone has other plans. And we came back in person last year. It was popular, and this year it is just blown up. Oh man! Blown up, and so I'm really happy about that. And it's going to blow up even bigger today. So make it just we, after 11, get in the car, drive straight to Modesto Junior College yes. West Campus, and check out the Latinx Comic Arts Festival right here. So many great things to look at, so many great things to see, and you can experience it. Get the culture, y'all. Back to you guys. Mm-hmm. All right. That's going to be busy today. Check them out. Good stuff. I like you. things like that. I like having options. There's so much more things to, go, what to do. What to do, yeah, right? So much.